everyone, this is your boy Kevin back here with another video. Today I got another budget phone that we're gonna review guys. In front of me I got the Elfon E10. This phone cost around $150. I mean Canada cost me around $150 to get it here. This phone could be cheaper or more expensive the country that you're at. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna go through it, we're gonna see how's the camera, how's the performance on it, how's the display, we're gonna go through the whole thing guys. But before we start this video guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and there is a bell at the bottom guys, you can just uh, click that. So every time I make a new video, I remind you guys and please give this video a thumbs up. So let's start in the box, that's what it's uh, showing. So you get a 48 megapixel camera, you get quad cameras, 48 megapixel plus 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel plus 2 megapixel, 6.5 inch display, HD plus and you get NFC. This phone is unlocked to OGSM carriers and the phone comes in uh, on display uh, fingerprint scanner and it comes with face unlock. We're going to check all those after. And uh, it's got a Helio P22 so it should be pretty okay for gaming and stuff like that. So it should have no legs and stuff like that. But that's how the phone looks like guys. If you guys can see you get four cameras right there and you get your speaker right there overall looks pretty good and pretty light the phone like i'm telling you guys it seems pretty light because it's got a 4000 milliamp usually 4000 milliamp should be a little bit on the heavier side but this one feels pretty damn light holding it in your hand feels pretty damn good if you want to play games on it oh very nice the back i like the curve around the back it's very good for gaming overall looks really good screen looks nice so now let's go look at it closer so you guys can see actually what it looks like and what it comes with in the box so let's go You get cables, wall charger, screen protection, nice strong phone case. Fingerprint scanner. Okay, now let's go through all the specs. Processor, Helio P22 quad core. Display, 6.5 inch, 720, 1560 pixels. Battery, 4000 milliamp, Android 10. For RAM is four gigabytes, storage is 64 gigabytes. Phone is dual SIM. You get NFC, no headphone jack. Phone comes with quad cameras. With main camera, 48 megapixel. That's for the specs guys. Okay guys, this phone comes with fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Let's try them both. So the fingerprint is right there. Let's go. Let's try it again. It works really fast and nice and smooth. Now let's try the face unlock. Try it again. The face unlock is not as fast as but you have to keep your face really close to the phone for it to unlock the phone. You guys can see this phone is very nice and smooth. Look how fast this thing is. Like boom, 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 boom. It's snappy. Like boom, boom, open app. Like opens quick. Like everything's like boom. And this phone comes with full Google support. Like everything that Google comes with, this phone has it. You get the Google App Store. You get, okay, Google. You get Google Map. You get the whole nine yard. You guys can see. Okay, Google, open camera. I have no SIM card in there and it's not connected to the internet right now, but everything works and with These Google. are the apps that come in this phone. So you get your assistance, calculator, calendar, camera, chromey, clock, contacts, drive, duo, emergency file, FM, AM radio, Gmail, Google, Google map, messages, phone, photos, uh, movies, uh, Play Store, the settings, SIM, uh, sound record, uh, YouTube, and YT music. Left, right, nothing. Now I think we should go download a game and see the gaming performance on this budget phone. What do you guys think? Let's go.
Okay guys, let's go check out the display on this phone because what they're advertising on here, 6.5 HD plus, it should have a really good display. So let's go watch a YouTube video so we can see how the display looks on this phone. So let's go. Very nice display. Quad cameras, 48 megapixel, micro, you can record a 1080. Honestly, for $150, I really wanna see what this camera looks like. So, let's go check it out. This phone's got a lot of features for camera. So you got your video, let's go to settings, see what we can record at. 1920, 1080, that's max. You got your beauty, and the beauty on this phone works really good. It can actually make you look really pretty. And you got picture, you got portrait, and you got extra. You got your 48 megapixel, you got your filters, your bouquet, pro, stickers, and you can take night pictures. And you got your micro. You guys can see, actually does a really good job. Like, I mean, really good job. And this phone comes with, uh, HDR, you got your flash, let's see how many zoom, you get four times zoom, and you got your AI, and that's pretty much it for the camera. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to take some pictures and some videos for you guys, so you guys can see the pictures and video quality this phone takes. So let's go check them out. Now my opinion about this budget phone for $150. Honestly guys, this phone blew my mind. Like honestly for $150, you get a lot here. Like honestly 4000 milliamp battery that's gonna last you pretty much all day. And the display on this phone was really nice and crisp. Like for $150, you cannot get better than this. Like honestly, it was so, such a nice display. The sound is not as loud, but it's good enough for 150 bucks, I think. The camera and the video quality on this phone, honestly, it did a really good job. Overall, this phone, the performance was really good. You get all the Google support. You can play games on it with no lag. Everything was nice and smooth on this phone. Overall, my opinion, 10 plus. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video that I made for you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.